Hey everyone, it's Mona here at Craft Clutch, and today we're going to make some inspirational artwork. So I have a 12 by 12 canvas, and I'm using acrylic paints, and I'm going to have this lime green, or lime sorbet, and this ocean blue. And I have a little white at the ready in case I want to freshen things up a little bit. I want the green at the top and the blue at the bottom. Okay, I'm going to start with the green, and I want it to have kind of a streaky look to it. I don't really want it solid. So that's where the white is going to come into play a little bit too. And I want to get the edges and everything. Okay, till about here. Now I want to start incorporating some of the blue. So I'm going to take the blue and the green together and start working it in. And that blue is pretty bold, so I'll definitely want to add a little bit of white to that. Now I'm going to wash my brush and get ready to put more blue on. Okay, and I'm going to work some white into there. And then you want to just let that dry. And then you'll see if you need another coat. Um, or if you like it the way it is. Okay, everything is dry, and now I have this stencil, which is the perfect size, and it's of dandelions kind of blowing in the wind. And I'm going to kind of place this where I want it, and then I have some tape. I'm gonna tape it in place just so nothing moves because it's a pretty big stencil. I'm using the same white acrylic paint that I used before. I happen to have this huge stencil brush from way back when. Um, I don't really use it because I don't stencil that much anymore, but I thought this is a good one to use it on because it is such a big stencil. So this will make it go a little bit quicker, but if you use a smaller one, that is absolutely fine too. So now I'm just going to go up and down on it. And some people like to do a swirling motion. Um, I prefer to kind of stipple. And I'm going to go around and do the whole entire thing. Now that I have it all stenciled, I'm going to carefully pull back this one side. And see how it looks. There we go. Now while that's drying, I print it out just on regular thin paper. Um, I used a laser printer, so if you're using an inkjet, you want to be able to seal the ink before you move on to the um, attaching this to it with the Mod Podge. But I have a quote, and it says, every day brings new choices. And I love that quote. So I am taking a Sharpie marker, and I'm just running it. I cut it out with some decorative scissors, and I'm just running the Sharpie marker along the edge. And that just gives it a little bit of definition. All right, here it is, and I'm going to Mod Podge this on here. And I also have a Dragonfly, which I'm planning on incorporating. I'm using the Super Gloss, and I'm using this only because I do plan on doing a layer of resin over this whole thing. If you were not going to do resin over it, which is fine, because I think it's really pretty just the way it is, um, then you could, you could just use like a matte Mod Podge would be fine, unless you were going to Mod Podge the whole thing, and that'd be okay too. There's a lot of different things you could could do with it. And I'm going to do the front and the back with the Mod Podge. And then I'm going to use my finger. I'm going to get a little Mod Podge on there and then slide it across. And that helps get rid of any of the wrinkles and lets it get down right onto that canvas. Okay, I love it the way it is, but you know me, I like to always add just a little bit more. Maybe it's good, maybe it's bad, and I have this extreme glitter. Now I'm going to try to go very subtle with it and not everywhere. So I'm just putting it on a skewer stick. But it's going to give it a little bit of a, I don't know, maybe a little bit of a magical look to it. So I'm going to just add it here and there on some of the little dandelions. Not everyone. Just a chosen few. It's time to finish our artwork. I have it sitting on four water bottle caps, just like this. And I have a level to make sure it's level. 
I mixed my easy cast resin and I think this is going to take about four ounces. I'm working on another project so um, I have a little extra made but I'm going to start putting it down just like this Then I'm going to take a paintbrush and move it around. This way I can ensure that it gets all the way to the edge. Then make sure you also get the edges. Now it's going to you know pull back from the edges every once in a while so you just want to go back make sure um, that it's there paint the edges as well to protect them and shine those up and then you want to go over it with your lighter pop any little bubbles because we don't want those and then you want to let it cure for at least 12 hours I've popped the bubbles though I will come back a couple times and double check and now I have the dragonfly and I'm gonna place it right into the resin so it really becomes one with the whole project. I'm going to drip a little extra resin just around it, not on it. Here's our resin art piece. You can see how very reflective it is and how nice it looks. And you can do this with any kind of a saying. You can, you know, this obviously doesn't have to be the one that I chose. Um, and any color and any stencil and it can just be fun. But I, I like the color of this. I like the feel of it and that's what I was going for and I like the dragonfly to give it a little bit of dimension so I hope you like it you guys let me know what you think in the comments below I will definitely see you next time in the meantime remember to subscribe so you don't miss a thing and as always thank you for sharing and commenting and giving me a thumbs up we'll see you next time in the meantime stay safe and happy crafting